There was a photo that many people were extremely upset about, and I got to see this photo early this morning. Let me go ahead and put this picture up. Now, this photo is of a brother by the name of Donald Neely, okay? And Mr. Donald Neely, they stated allegedly went into the Merrill Lynch building and he didn't leave, so they called the police to come get him because he was criminally trespassing. Now, Donald is a mentally ill brother and he's also homeless as well. And as you see on this photo, they're leading him with a claim to a staging area for a police car to come pick him up. This looks like something from the slave patrol, but we all know that the police come from the slave patrol. Now, you know good and well, this is wrong, this is ugly, but they're addressing this photo. But I wanna show you a video, and I want you to pay very, very close to this video. Not only were they leading him in the street this way to humiliate this brother, but I want you to see that they had a bag on his head prior to that photo being snapped. But let me show you that quick video. Now they took the bag off his head and people snapped the other picture. That was worse than the original photo with him having a bag on his head. Now let me put up what the police chief said in response to this, the people were extremely pissed off and rightfully so. So he wrote here, you know, who's the man, Donald Neely, who are the officers, he gave the name there. Uh, he said, why was he being detained, talking about criminal trespass? He said, it appears the man being led by the officer on the rope. He said, no, Mr. Neely was handcuffed and the line was clipped to the handcuffs. He said, where he was being led to? He led to a mounted patrol unit where we're staging from. They said they had body cameras. They said the officers were familiar with Mr. Neely and were aware that he had been warned against trespassing upon this specific location several times. And he's talking about he's apologizing for this unnecessary embarrassment. Okay. So he's apologizing for the unnecessary embarrassment. He says, but listen to this part. This is the, the this is the part that's really bothersome. Although this is a trained technique and best practice in some scenarios. So they're training them to do that. They didn't just didn't come with that on their own. So this police chief admits that they were trained to do that. Now he said, I believe I also showed poor judgment in this instance and could have waited for a transport unit at the location of the arrest. Um, you trained them to do that, so why would they wait for a tr transport unit? He said, my officers did not have any malicious intent at the time of the arrest, but we have immediately changed the policy to prevent the use of this technique and review all mounted training and procedures for more appropriate methods. So you want to change it now because the public saw what you've done? I mean, all before you thought it was all good. Now, according to what I saw some other people saying on social media, they were saying that, oh man, gals and police do that all the time to people. And y'all never said nothing about it prior to this? This picture had to come out for they changed the policy? I'm gonna tell you guys something. Don't ever let them discount the power of social media. Cause this man admitted that that's what they were being trained to do. And you know good and well, we gonna suffer it as black Americans for sure. But social media is making police departments change policies. So yes, your cell phone camera is very powerful. Taking pictures, uploading them. Like I said, don't send photos and video to the mainstream media. Put that stuff out on social media. That's how you do it because the mainstream media, whether local or national, is in step with the police departments. They all work together. They wash each other's hands in this system, okay? So keep putting these videos out, keep putting the pictures out. Because now, I read that Mr. Neely is bonded out of jail. His sister is very pissed off at the photo because of how they were treating her brother. And this is completely wrong. But once again, America, you're embarrassing yourself again. Like how many more times have you gonna embarrass yourself? First you embarrass yourself with all these mass killings. Then you're embarrassing yourself in this way. Well, y'all just keep taking ills all week before the world. But I'm glad the world is seeing all this because they know we aren't lying when we talk about the way the police treat us. Now, you had a mass murderer, killed 22 people now, was treated better than this. That's what I don't understand. You treat a mass murderer who killed 22 people better than this in El Paso. But as a black man, you're gonna parade him in the street with a rope tied to him, walking. 
like, like y'all got some runaway slave from a plantation. Every time that y'all do something to black people, I'm gonna keep referring back to Patrick Crucis because in Dylan Roof, every time they kill our people, y'all treat them with so much respect. But a black man trespass, and this is how you doing him in the street. These people here, like I said, they don't they show, like I said, they can tempt for us as much as possible. I'm not saying they didn't do this to nobody else, but you paraded him in the street so much so that people had to take pictures of it. So yes, the policy got changed. That's great. You guys did a great job by pushing this on social media, but they treat mass murderers better than they treated this brother in this picture. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story with the Galveston police department. It's shaming y'all for that crap. It's shame for y'all for trying to train cops to do that mess. And you don't know about nobody's malicious intent. Well, you wasn't in their head. So I don't know why the police chief even said that. I like how they just think that they know exactly what's in somebody's head. Now he tried to be transparent, I guess, but I mean, the cat was out the bag with the situation. Everybody saw it, but y'all need to do a whole lot better than what you're doing.